Tinkercad friends, I'm back with another cool lesson. We're going to be doing Tinkercad code blocks today, and we're going to take a flower project that we made a while ago, and we are going to upgrade it, and then I'm also going to try and use it for laser cutting. So my friends, let's get cracking. First things first, we need to choose code blocks, and like I said earlier, if you haven't made this code block, you're going to have to new, use new design, and the link I'm going to put at the top. If you have already created the flower, you can just simply launch your code. So if you already made this code, you remember how it works by stretching a cylinder and then rotating copies of that cylinder around itself. If you have not seen this before, you can make it from the little uh, video that I'm posting up here in the corner so it shows you how to make flower MDH. I want a flower now instead of being solid, I want one that's cut out. So let me show you how easy it is to convert this to a cut out one. Start by grabbing your shapes and bringing out another cylinder. Make it a hole. That means we're going to be able to cut it out in a minute. I'm going to change its radius to 6. I'm going to change its height to 3 still. And I'm going to do 64 sides. We need to do a scale, because if we did that right now, it would still be a cylinder. So let's go to our modify command and bring out that scale again. And let's do the same two. Let's do the 0.5 so that it makes it thinner. This is how it looks like an ellipse. And to make sure it's tall enough to cut out, let's do one and a half times Z. I'm gonna hit play real quick, and you see it drew it right there. I'm gonna pause this, because you'll notice nothing happened. That is because we did not do the create a group option. Once you create a group, then it will cut out the pieces after we reset it, of course, and it'll start to make a flower again, but this one will have a hole in the center, so it's better for laser cutting. Now this could also make it more interesting for 3D printing, but my whole goal here was to make one that I could use for laser cutting, and it just looks pretty darn nifty. Now you can explore with the numbers and make this more epic uh, with your own choices, but this is what mine looks like. I'm gonna choose export and you'll notice it does not export as an SVG. And that's what I need to use for my laser cutting. But watch how I fix that. By exporting the part, it lets, lets us give it a name, a description, and you can do all those kind of things, but I don't need to. I'm just going to save my flower. And then I'm going to go back to plain Tinkercad. And then I want to create a new design. And in my new designs, I'm going to look for a new location called Part Collection. And in the parts, there you can see my flower. There it is. And then when I drop it on, it is not aimed the right way for me to really print, so I'm going to snap it to 90 degrees and press the letter D to drop it to the work plane. So I'm going to take this cool flower and now I'm going to export it as my SVG for laser cutting. And I'm going to change it instead to flower 2. Now let's switch to the Glowforge device and let's upload the software there's my flower too. All right, so let's grab our little design and I am gonna fiddle with it on cardboard. I've shown you earlier, I've created all these cardboard settings. I'm gonna choose cardboard three and double check it. I've got 155 and I've got 25 for the amounts. Let's see if that works. And boom, we'll cut ourselves out of flower. All right, friends, so if you're looking closely at this, it was turning out awesome, but when it redid the center for the second lap, uh, it was too hot and it burned it up. So we're going to try it again. This time we're going to customize our settings. We're only going to do one pass, and we're going to call this uh, Cardboard 3A. So I'm going to do Save As, and this will be Cardboard 1 Lap. And I'm going to do 30 for the power so that I make sure that it cuts through. And let's send it to the machine and try it out again. All right, friends. So that version 
uh, when it cut through. There were little pinpricks of light through the back, but it wasn't all the way back. So let's try this one more time. Uh, I'm going to change the speed to 300. I'm going to keep my power of 3, but I'm going to do 2 laps or my power of 30. And then I'm going to do save as, and I'm going to call this cardboard 4. so that I've just got another example of how to work cardboard. And I might start labeling these better for what I'm going to use them for. So let's hit print and see if this one works. All right, so that had more dots of light that went all the way through, but it did miss cutting a few of these. So let's adjust it one more time. I'm going to open cardboard four, and I'm just going to give it the third pass and save it and see if that cuts it out. Get it placed exactly where I want it, hit print, and let's see what we get. All right, friends, so that was strike four. I'm still closer, but I'm not cut all the way through. You can see that one piece cut all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to cardboard four, and this is why I name these again and again and again so that I can keep track of them. Uh, I'm gonna do 45 and 400 so it's a little more power and a little bit faster let's see if three passes on this and then we're going to do save as and this is going to be cardboard five um but i'm going to even change that and i'm going to do it uh as cardboard but i'm going to actually put the numbers zero three dot uh 400 dot 45 so i'm following my same format where i mark the times the speed and the power Save that, and let's send it away and see if this time I finally nail it. All right, so you can see there that one is almost all the way cut out. I'm going to just touch it with an X-Acto knife, and let's see what we got. All right, friends, so there is the final successful print. I don't know if I can think of anything sillier than cutting this out of cardboard. I mean, that was so thin and so cheap. But I did make it work, so hey, it just proves that it is possible, and you can use Tinkercad code to create cool laser-cut objects. Friends, thanks for watching. If you found this useful or interesting, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. If you got a question or a comment, add it down below and click that notification bell to know immediately when I make a new movie. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep